What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. After Effects is an amazingly powerful VFX animation and motion graphics software. And over the past year, we've been covering some of the dopest techniques coming out from the community. We figured it was the perfect time to reflect on the best of the best, and that's exactly what we're doing in this episode. If this is your first time on the channel, we talk about all sorts of motion graphics, animation, and 3D. So make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the super dope stuff that we got planned. Also, want to send a huge thanks to everyone who has already hit that subscribe button. You guys are getting us that much closer to our goal of hitting 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Holy crap, I think we only have like a month left. Anyways, I'm super excited. I know you are too. All right, let's go. Quick disclaimer, the creators on this list are in no way in order of importance. These are the creators that we've found to be some of the most influential and inspiring over this past year in 2022. So while moving into 2023, we wanna go ahead and recognize their work and hopefully be able to learn something that's gonna propel us into the future. Anyways, I got the list right here. Let's hop right in. First up at number 10, here we have from Enigmatic E an awesome use of AI and After Effects. So in this case, we see the person actually is able to create a mask and then inside of that mask is an AI generated image. And I'm thinking he's using EB Synth to composite on those AI generated frames to the video and make them match perfectly. Either way, this is an awesome effect and I love to see how After Effects and AI generation tools are getting used together to create some amazing work. I definitely loved seeing this in 2022 and I'm curious if this is gonna set the trend for 2023. Next we have at number nine, this one is from Papo's Filmmaker who creates this really funny animation of him weightlifting. Now at first everything seems normal until all of a sudden his arms stretch to the height of him. I'm assuming he's using something like Liquify to make this effect, but at the same time there's just all these extra details like that camera movement and the amazing acting to really bring this VFX scene to life. Papo's Filmmaker also makes this really creative human zoetrope in which it was shot with a drone and then he creates all these different stances inside of this circle and when played all the way through it creates an interesting animation that I don't even know how he was able to concept this and then bring it to life. I love Papo's Filmmaker and your work and I hope to see more of it. Number eight on the list, here we have one from Imani Larusa, who we've shown on the channel before for having some really awesome animations using Illustrator and this one is no exception. This animation is inspired off the prompt of imagining your entire lifetime flashing before your eyes. So we have all these beautifully composed scenes and an awesome breakdown that shows how this was created. It looks like a lot of this was created using reference footage that she actually shot herself as well as using illustrator to make these scenes and then using something like trap code particular for the stars as well as shape layers to recreate this in after effects before animating this with really nice spline motion animation anyways i love this piece a lot and thanks for showing us a breakdown of your work hope you keep it up and excited to see more what you come up with coming up at number seven now, what would a list be without some AR phone tracking? Here we have one from PapetNob04 who creates this really sick phone tracking just using his phone. And it looks super clean and I love the way that you even have that lighting happening whenever you rotate your phone like left and right. It looks really realistic and sick. Here we have at number six. So earlier this year, we talked about this creator. Yo, this one freaking blew my mind. This one is from user Tyvis who creates this retrophonic kinetic typography film. This project was exhibited at the Graphic Days Festival in Turin, Italy, and he won a special mention by Zeta Fonts Type Foundry. I love all these different text animations, and if you guys are curious about creating an awesome looking text animation of your own, check out this video that we have here on the channel where we talk about creating multiple text animation styles right within After Effects. I think even some of these you can actually learn, like creating different echo effects and whatnot. Now, there does look to be like there's a possibility that he used Newton for some of these type effects, but for some of the other ones I think that you can get away with just doing all built-in After Effects. Anyways love your work a lot Tyvis and I hope to see more. All right we're about halfway through the list at number five. Here we have from Substantial Strain 87 this really trippy animation that combines the use of Cinema 4D and After Effects. So all of those 3D effects that you're seeing there was generated in Cinema 4D and then the compositing end and the color correction was using After Effects to really bring this together. I love the way that these visual effects came out and I think this is 
really impressive. Kind of reminds me of Edward Ov a bit, except with your own little spin on it. Anyways, love your work and I hope to see more. Here we have at number four. Next up, we have one from Hanuwashi who creates manga comic book trailers. And I think his work really stands out because he's able to take these cell frames and just really bring them to life with these simple animations and clever compositing techniques. He actually says that he creates all of these by hand hard cutting out the edges, which is just freaking insane because it's almost like he's having to redraw some of these elements right inside of After Effects. The techniques that he uses to make these manga animations come to life, like the different 3D depth mapping, and then the simple keyframing animations is just perfectly timed and used in the right moments to really make these mangas come to life. I think your comic book trailers are super sick, Haniwashi, and I hope to see more of your work. Okay, things are heating up. We're down to the final three at number three on the list. Okay, this one from Kimion is freaking insane. This is a combination of using After Effects, Cinema 4D, and Ember Gen to create this really awesome and stylish piece. I love how you not only show us this really awesome animation, but you include a breakdown that shows the process into making this. So he's actually using a car rig and then a character rig, as well as Ember Gen to simulate those smoke particles coming off of the tires there. This is an excellent animation with some awesome slow motion in it. I really love how the models are expressive and clean and not only that but it looks like it could be a part of an actual movie. Great work Kim Myon Kim and I hope to see more. Next we have at number two here we have one from Rafo VFX and here he creates this super sick bendy building that wobbles when he flicks it. When I first saw this it just stopped me in my tracks because that is so sick the way it's composited in is just super clean and then the effect and silliness of it is one of those effects that's a really nice play on reality. Rafo VFX actually created this using a combination of Blender and then After Effects. So you can see Blender was used to recreate this 3D building and then add that wobble to it. And on the After Effects side, he's able to then composite in his hand flicking. So these two scenes are not shot with the same footage. They're actually two different scenes then composited together, which looks super, super sick. And the one you guys have been waiting for, the ultimate most impressive work from 2022 at number one. Here we have one from Diego Woods and he brings us this amazing cosplay edit which honestly I think that term is just diminishing how awesome it is because this is like a fan edit that is on a whole nother level. When I saw Diego Woods I was like oh my freaking goodness this guy is killing it because not only does he make himself into different characters but as a person he has great martial arts skills as well like what an interesting combo. Here we have him turning himself into Sasuke Uchiha. This is actually a combination of both After Effects and Blend which is a really cool use case because I love whenever people can not only make something that's so well composited but also an entirely dynamic scene that's also built in Blender. He also made this really awesome one where he turned himself into Inumaki. I love the way that he shows the breakdown from storyboarding and concepting all the way down to the final animations and renders. Anyways, I love your work Diego Woods and I hope to see more. Those were some of the most awesome techniques that we've covered this past year but if you guys want to dive a little deeper into their works and see some of the other creators that didn't get mentioned but still have some really awesome work as well i highly recommend you check out this video you guys are going to see some amazingly inspiring work so i don't know what you guys are still doing here go ahead check out that video or if you guys are curious you know youtube's going to recommend you guys another video so yeah it's really up to you <laughs> anyways thanks for watching i hope to catch you in the next one peace